What the brap is up, little brapsters? Cody with two wheels and tent. It's day three of my Utah adventure. And you may be wondering why in the world, when you're out on an adventure, would you camp right next to the highway? Well, that's a good story. So day two was an adventure. I had a viewer throw me some gas money for this adventure. And he said, get up off your swing ass. This is a quote, get up off your swing ass and come join the adventure, Cody. So, I did. And on the way down to do the BDR, I saw a little offshoot on my phone for the BDR from the freeway. And I thought, hey, let's change the scenery. I'm sick of pounding pavement miles. It's not what I like to do. So, thinking it would be a half hour maybe, a little offshoot, and back to the freeway. No, 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 no. It was about 60 miles, beautiful, beautiful terrain, but it was sandy and gravelly on this really hard packed clay. So once you sunk through the sand, then you're on ice. But anyway, it took, it took a long time. I think I found Butch Cassidy's old home or something, which was cool. Oh yeah, sorry, squirrel. Anyway, comes to this, 10 o'clock in Moab, two hours from Valley of the Gods. I want to push and get there. Well, I'm kind of tired. That section honestly wore me out a little bit. And, <laughs> oh boy. You know how adventure for me goes. There was not a star in the sky. There was not a moon in the sky. There were some clouds in the sky. It was pitch black and winding through forest roads with high winds no 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 so as i'm driving to monticello on my google maps pops up this blm tent spot well with the covid scare and everything i didn't know moab's been funny they didn't want people whatever i was tired so i came back well i drive all the way back in here thinking it's back in there you know, dink around for a half hour in the sand back there at 11 o'clock. <laughs> anyway, I set this camp up 